Hey everybody, it's time for Tractor Time with Mr. Mick and uh, our book tonight is another one of those Tractor Mac books. I just got it in the mail today. It's called Farmer's Market. So it sounds like a good book. I picked it because my mom loves to go to farmer's markets. And since Tractor Mac is a farm all tractor, I found a red hat, a red shirt, and I found a toy, a T340 International Crawler Tractor. My son Heath uh, was really into crawler tractors for a little while. He thought that was awful cool. So I bought this one for my son Heath probably about 20 years ago. So, Tractor, uh, Tractor Mac, Farmer's Market. That's our book tonight. Someone ate my piece of birthday cake, said Carla the chicken one sunny morning on Stony Meadow Farm. I was saving it for a treat when it got really nice and stale, she clucked. Hmm, said Tractor Mac. Somebody got into the garbage cans and it wasn't me, cried Goat Walter. Ah, uh, said Tractor Mac. Something's going on. Someone raided the pantry, meowed Pepper the cat, and ate all the sugar and all the lard. I see, said Tractor Mac with a sigh. I think I know who's behind all this. Let's pay a visit to our friends Pete and Paul. They found Pete and his brother Paul in their pen. Their pig pen. Yuck, what's that smell, said Carla. Just stuff we found, replied Pete. Eating is our favorite hobby, grunted Paul happily. Eating and snacking, agreed Pete. Do you even know what you're eating, asked Tractor Mac. Uh, something brown, I think, answered Paul. So there they are in their pig pen. Pigging out. If you like food, you'll like the farmer's market, said the big red tractor. Farmer Br Bill is bringing you with us today. There's loads of freshly made goods and locally grown food. Better than what you're eating right now, added Carla. So there they are, getting ready to go to the farmer's market. Food, asked Pete. Like at a fair, asked Paul. I love fair food. French fries, fried dough, fried onions, fried anything. Cotton candy, ice cream, salted pretzels, fudge brownies, and soda pop. Fair food is great food. Fair food is not always great food, corrected Tractor Mac. There they are loading up to go. He's right, Paul, said Pete. Remember what happened last year at the fair when you ate all that junk food? Oh, yeah, said Paul with a sigh. I felt awful for a week. I didn't ever want to feel that way again. When they got to the farmer's market, it was busy as usual. Wow, exclaimed Paul. All the neighboring farmers and growers are here, said Pete. Booths were filled with fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, and tables held milk and cheese and eggs and honey. Tucker Pickup tooted his horn. Machines like Tractor Mac and me need fresh fresh gas and new oil regularly to keep our body running smoothly. The fresh food you'll find here will keep you healthy and strong, added Tractor Mac. So there they are, busy at the farmer's market. Mmm, that's a good smell, said Pete. There are many different and healthy ways to prepare food, said Tractor Mac. You can grill, bake, broil, saute, or steam. I like mine raw, cheered Paul. And there's somebody cooking at the farmer's market. The next day, the animals at Stony Meadow Farm were excited. The day after the farmer's market meant good food for all. Hey, someone took my mel melon, said Carla. Someone got into the vegetables, cried Goat Walter, and it wasn't me. Something raided the pantry again, meowed Pepper the cat, but only the bowls are missing. We thought we'd put out locally grown spread for all of us, said Pete with a laugh. Snacks and sweets are okay for a treat, but real food is great food, said Paul. So the pigs put out a nice little picnic for everybody. Eating fresh and mostly green will keep you healthy and keep you lean 
said Tractor Mac with a big grin. The End Farmer's Market